three, two, one. Hell is, if you like, well, I, I was going to say it's where God isn't, but even that isn't true because ultimately God will be all in all. But it is as though within God's all in allness, there will be an absence, a loss, the possibility of there being creatures who once were human but now are not. And the wor- I don't know what the word where would mean at that point because I don't know what location is like at that point. And, and I, I fail to see why we should speculate about that. I just think it's a state of being uh, of, of creatures that once were human, once did reflect the image of God, but have chosen to do so no more. And I have to say, people often ask me about this, and I don't like talking about it, partly because I know a great many people um, and love a great many people, some of whom, as far as I can see, are saying precisely that to God. And I shudder to think of those people saying, I don't want to be truly human, thank you very much. I don't, you know, Because they are lovely human beings at the moment and they can see glimmers of God in them, but how that works out is, is up to them. So this is not something I talk about readily or happily. It, and it, some Christians, oh yeah, there's heaven and then there's hell and those guys are gonna get it and so on. <coughs> That's not what I'm saying at all. Um, this is a matter of, of really a terrifying possibility. And every so often you look in the mirror and say, hmm, are you worshiping idols as well? Is that where you're going? And, and Christians have to ask themselves that. That doesn't destroy your assurance. It's a question you need to ask. Mm-hmm.